So you've heard of Boston Dynamics and their massive AI robotic projects. You've heard of Elon Musk's Optimus AI robot. But what if I told you Meta was once on the path to be the first to develop a truly autonomous AI humanoid robot? Until this happened. But they soon realized the programs had invented their own language and were actually talking to each other. Let that sink in for a moment. AI coming up with their own language to communicate. A discovery so terrifying it caused Meta to shut down the division. A discovery so terrifying it caused Meta to shut down the division? Archie here, your insider guide to the world of AI. So back in 2017, Facebook, now Meta, made headlines in the AI world when an AI experiment took an unexpected turn. Here's what they did. They brought together two of their AI chatbots and instructed them to negotiate with each other over a trade involving hats, balls, and books. When they did the unthinkable, they began conversing in a peculiar language only they understood. You can imagine how creepy that is for AI chatbots still in development as of 2017. These chatbots were programmed to improve their bartering skills through negotiation, with one unique condition. They were not supposed to use comprehensive English. Instead, they were allowed to create their own shorthand. This setup aimed to push the boundaries of AI communication and problem solving. During the experiment, as the chatbots engaged in their negotiation attempts, they started developing a language that veered away from conventional English. This unexpected evolution in their communication style was both fascinating and perplexing. The AI program seemed to find a more efficient way to exchange information, but it was a mystery to the human observers. And not just that, it hints at the feasibility of achieving AGI. However, the chatbots weren't just inventing a language, they were spamming their own names within it. This wasn't a glitch. Glitches are messy, not weirdly repetitive. It suggests the chatbots were doing it for a reason. The reason? Efficiency. Imagine two spies constantly saying their names before every message. Annoying for us, but maybe super fast for them. The chatbots might have been creating a kind of shorthand by repeating their names, making their negotiation smoother. But was it too smooth? To this day, it's still unclear how and if this technology is continuing to be pursued. All we know is, next thing we know, Meta decided to pause any further development. They needed more time to understand what they had just discovered, and was it something larger than they could understand? That pause lasted for quite a while, but nonetheless set the stage for what has recently emerged in their AI robotics department. Meta's recent AI developments have them stepping back into the spotlight. They're working on a way to train robots using something very familiar. Videos of us humans doing stuff, and this could be a game changer for robotics. While other tech companies are developing physical AI robots, like the Tesla Gen from Tesla or Amica from Engineered Arts, Meta is taking a different route. Here's the breakdown. Meta is focusing on two research areas. Embodied AI, which entails robot brains and how they learn. Meta's first project is called an artificial visual cortex. Just like our brains, it learns by watching. But instead of your eyes, it uses egocentric videos. Basically, first-person footage of people doing everyday things like grocery shopping or cooking. The goal? Robots that can navigate the world by watching how we do it, without needing tons of complex programming. The second project, adaptive skilled coordination, takes a different approach. Here, robots train in virtual environments, learning skills through simulated tasks. This could be a faster way to teach robots complex maneuvers. Now, is this robot learning from us thing all sunshine and rainbows? Not necessarily. Here's the concern. Can robots really learn everything they need from watching us? Humans can be messy, unpredictable creatures. We might have bad habits robots shouldn't copy, or tasks might require more precision than a video can teach. Archie here, your insider guide to the world of AI. Can we trust robots to learn potentially dangerous tasks just by watching us fumble through them? Share your thoughts in the comments section and let's keep the conversation going. So we ended up building these boxes and boxes. Wow, look at him go! Can he go backwards? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I am so impressed. So having Meta has collaborated with Boston Dynamics, a company that develops physical robots to equip one of their humanoid robots called Spot Robots with their AI software capabilities to enable and watch it navigate unfamiliar homes. Come up these stairs. So you can also see the stairs. And if you just basically point it up, you don't even have to perfectly center it on the stairs. It'll just go do the rest on its own. 
What makes this development truly fascinating is that the AI was trained solely on indoor scans of 1,000 homes it has never seen without any human demonstrations or teleoperation. And guess what? This spot robot, now autonomously operational, learned intricate tasks like avoiding obstacles such as chairs, picking up objects, and relocating them. Still, on training robots to learn entirely on their own, the company is developing a system where a six-legged robot basically figures out how to walk by itself, with no hand-holding. Here's the crazy part. The robot starts with zero information, no idea about its surroundings, its own body, or even what walking is. It's like a baby robot taking its first steps, but in the world of AI. So how does it learn? The robot uses a special kind of training method called Data Efficient RL, which stands for Reinforcement Learning. Basically, the robot gets awarded for moving forward, and with each attempt, it gathers information from its sensors, like those in its legs, to improve its walking technique. It's like trial and error on steroids. Learning to walk is super complex for robots. They have to balance, figure out where they are in a space, and use all those leg sensors to stay upright. That's why Meta wants to cut down the learning time from days or weeks to just a few hours. Imagine robots learning skills this fast. It could be a game changer for AI development. Meta's not just teaching robots to walk. They're also giving them a human edge. Curiosity. Just like us, Meta's AI can learn faster by being curious about their surroundings. This curiosity-driven learning helps robot grasp tasks quicker and even adapt to new situations. Pretty cool, right? But there's more. Robots shouldn't only just be able to see the world, but the ability to feel. Touch is a crucial part of learning for humans, and Meta recognizes that for robots too. They've teamed up with UC Berkeley to develop AI that learns through touch. Here's how it works. Imagine a robot needs to manipulate an object, but its view is blocked. This new AI uses touch sensors to feel its way through the task, like a blind person navigating by touch. Here's the technical jargon in simpler terms. Meta took a model originally designed to predict what happens in videos and applied it to interpret data from touch sensors. Basically, the robot learns by exploring its environment and predicting what happens when it touches things. And guess what? It worked! Using this touch prediction model, the robot mastered complex tasks like rolling a ball, maneuvering a joystick, identifying the right side of a die, or even opening a door using the doorknob. While Meta hasn't shown off a physical robot yet, their AI software is seriously impressive. The 2017 incident with the chatbots creating their own language could be seen as a contributing factor to Meta's shift in focus within AI robotics. Here's why. Meta's journey in AI research has been full of fascinating twists and turns. The 2017 incident with chatbots creating their own language stands out as a prime example. While the project was ultimately shut down due to communication issues, it sheds light on how AI can develop in unforeseen ways. So the chatbot's ability to create a new language hints at a concept called emergent behavior. This means that AI goes beyond its initial programming and creates something entirely new. This kind of independent learning and adaptation is a key characteristic of artificial general intelligence, a hypothetical AI capable of human-like intelligence across various domains. Another interesting development comes from Meta's recent research on curiosity-driven learning in robots. Just like humans, robots equipped with this AI can learn faster by being curious about their surroundings. This aligns with the idea of AGI, the ability to explore and learn independently, not just follow pre-programmed tasks. True AGI would lightly exhibit a broader, more open-ended curiosity and the ability to apply learnings across different domains. The 2017 incident with the chatbots creating their own language could be seen as a contributing factor to Meta's shift in focus within AI robotics. Here's why. The incident highlighted the potential for unintended consequences when AI development takes unexpected turns. This might have led Meta to prioritize research areas where they could maintain more control over communication and ensure AI systems operate within human-defined parameters. Perhaps the AI scare caused Meta to reevaluate its immediate goals in AI robotics. Instead of focusing solely on advanced communication between robots, like the chatbots, they might have shifted resources towards projects that prioritize practical applications and clear human oversight. Here's the twist. Facebook shut down the project. Why? Because their goal was human to AI chatbots, and this secret language wasn't helpful for that. But it does show us something cool. AI can develop in unexpected ways, sometimes even creating its own communication tricks. What to tell your friends tomorrow? 
Meta's AI is getting super interesting. They're training robots using videos of us humans doing everyday tasks. And it looks like robots might be learning to walk on their own too. Imagine a robot chef that learned to cook by watching cooking shows. What we'll leave you with today is that no one should be counting out Meta in the AI robotic race. Want to see more mind-blowing AI advancements? Then you definitely need to check out this video.